Hey everyone, this is Brad Royball with a video for lesson 2.4. In this lesson, we'll be going over the lab 2.4 guessing game, um, which is about a um, using input from a user and using some of what you've just learned about variables in order to make a small guessing game. So the first thing I'm going to start with, I have a lot of the stuff I need already on the screen. It's going to make it a little bit easier to show you um, without having to go and look for everything else. But the first thing I want to do and of course, since we're talking about variables in this lesson is click right over here underneath the variable settings um, or the variable menu here in snap is click make a variable. And what I want to make is a variable for my number that I want to guess. So this is going to be my guess number and I'm going to click OK. And one of the things you'll know and you'll see here about uh, variables in snap is that it goes ahead and it puts something that can let you watch what the value of the number is right here that variable and it lists it as well over here so in order to do this the first part of what we want to do for this lab is basically ask the user for an input on what they've guessed and also generate a number and then check and see if they've guessed that randomly generate a number correctly so the first thing i'm going to do is click set set is going to allow me to set the value of my variable so i'm going to say set guess number and you can see i can see that variable in the drop down right there with a number so what i want to do i could hard code this in and let's say i wanted to go with 10 and the number would just be 10 or in this case one every time but that doesn't really make a lot of sense so i'm going to put pick random number from one to 10 right here and you can see whenever i click this script right here it changes the value of my variable and of course it's selecting something from one to 10 so you can see it kind of jumps around from values every time i click it um, the next thing I'm going to do is ask the user, what number am I thinking of? And we're using an ask block. Um, watch some of my previous videos if you're unfamiliar with kind of what this does. Uh, but the one thing it does is uses the answer variable that it stores right here, whatever that user puts in. So in order to check that, again, we have conditions. We've worked on these condition blocks before. I want to use this if or else block to say if the user guessed the right number, tell them if not, you know, go ahead and quit or do some other action. So I'm going to uh, put this right here. This block right here checks if one value is equal to another. And since we have two variables, I'm going to go ahead and assign those and see if they're equal. So we have the answer variable that we can go ahead and snap in right there. And then guess number, in order to use that variable in our script, we go to variables. We find it right over here. It has this um, sort of circular rounded shape right here. I'm going to put guess number right there. So now we can see if the answer is equal to guess number, what do we want to do, right? We want to say in this case that they have guessed the number correctly. And of course, if they haven't, you want to say our other output, and I'm going to change this to this was not the correct number is what I'm going to say. And from here, if we go ahead and click this script, we can see it says, what number am I thinking of? Now, of course, I can see what the number is right now because I'm testing my script. Since I know it's six, I'm going to put five and press enter. You can see it doesn't hit that first if condition where the answer is equal to what I've guessed. If I try it again, this time I can see that the answer is actually five. So if I click five this time, it'll tell me that I guessed correct. Now, the second part of this lab that we want to do is, of course, we want to use a loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my forever loop right here. Now, of course, my forever loop is going to continue until some kind of termination happens to my script. I'm going to put this whole block in right here. I apologize. I'm going to move it up. And every single time I click start now, it's going to keep that same guess number because that's outside of the forever block. It only happens once, but it's going to continuously ask the user what number we're thinking of. So in this case, this is what number am I thinking of? I'm going to click three. I'm going to click three and I hit enter. You can see it popped up with an answer. What we would want to do is change these say blocks right here to something where it says it for a certain amount of time. So I'm going to say, say hello, and I'm going to copy and paste what I have here. Now you can see if I click it, it says, what number am I thinking of? If I guess the correct number in this case, click six. It says I guess correct, and it keeps going. What we want to do is for the control portion, I basically want to tell it to stop if the user guesses correctly. So I'm going to go up and I know there's something that I want in here. I'm going to see if I can find it. I want to end everything. And I believe there's, oh, yep. 
Right here, we're gonna use a stop block and we're gonna pin it right after that say. So that it says it and then it stops everything. The stop block is one of the few blocks that can sort of end this forever loop that we're stuck in. So if I go ahead and stop, I click it one more time. You see, I'm guessing the number four. So I'm gonna click four. Of course, the user doesn't see this, but so let's say they guess correctly. It says you guessed correct, good job. And you can see over here after those two seconds after we're waiting where it says you guessed correct and then waits for two seconds. We go ahead and stop the whole script and uh, that's how we exit that loop. So uh, that, students, is how you do the first part of Lab 2.4, uh, which is a guessing game.